Hi guys. So yes, I know, I'm sorry, this is the first thing you see and you're probably terrified and wondering who stole my face and replaced it with this. So today we are going to do a chit chat get ready with me. I have not done one of these in a while. It is so hot in here, you guys. I'm gonna have to put a fan on. Okay, fan is on. Good grief, it is so hot in here. Okay, and excuse my hair, I just washed it and let it air dry, so I still have to do something with it. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna use my normal Tarte BB Cream and my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm gonna mix pretty much equal parts of both this combination is like the best combination ever. I love it. I am so pale right now. I need to do like some self tanning of some sort. But I've been so busy. I'm trying to get all my beauty bestie videos done and I just don't have time for everything. I actually think I'm going to put one more layer of foundation on just because, I don't know, my skin has not been looking the greatest lately, so just one more thin layer. Okay, so foundation's done. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer combination. This is the Marc Jacobs Concealer Pen that I've been raving about. So I'm gonna, and this is in the shade Wake Up Call, I'm gonna take one pump of this under my eyes. This is a very thin concealer and it has antioxidants and really good ingredients in it. So I like putting this one before my actual concealer and this doesn't mess with the texture under my eyes. So I really, really love it. And I just blend this with my finger and then I go in with my beauty blender. And it helps to cover a little bit, it brightens, and I just love it. Where's my beauty blender? So then going in with my MAC, this is in the shade NC20. So I'm gonna take this on my finger and kinda concentrate this lower to brighten but also to conceal and this concealer you guys lasts forever at the end of the day at like 10 o'clock at night I have to seriously like work to get this off it is amazing I love this stuff this is my favorite part of my makeup routine doing my concealer because this combination is just like the best thing ever just taking a little bit on these blemishes that I have okay now I'm gonna go in with my NARS radiant creamy concealer in custard and just really conceal these couple little blemishes that I have okay, I gotta prime my eyes with my NARS Pro Prime color tattoo in nude pink. Just a little of this right on my lid. While my primer sets, not really sets, but I like to give that a little time to, yeah, kind of set. I'm gonna do my brows with my Anastasia brows, and I have to do them off camera because it is a process. I cannot do it on camera. It's like a, a block in my brain. So I will be back in like three hours. Just wait, just wait for me, please. Thanks. Okay, so eyebrows are done. I've been doing a fuller brow, and once my makeup's all done, I think it looks really nice. Now they look like, oh my God, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. I will zoom you guys in so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my Sigma E25, and I'm gonna take Naked from the Naked palette, which is right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease concentrating on the outer part and I'm not being like specific I'm just pretty much plopping it on there and blending it out next I'm going to take half baked which is this gorgeous gold shadow on a Sigma what are you 
E55 shader brush. And I'm going to keep this on the inner like third of my eye. I'm taking it out but not the whole way out to the very edge. I love this color. It is so gorgeous. And next I'm going to take my Sigma E47. This is like a tiny crease brush. And I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take Dark Horse right here and put a little of that on the outer part of my lid just to add some darkness. And this is the look that I've been doing for the past couple days and I really like the way it looks. And then where they meet, I'm going to take, what do I want to use? I think I've been using smog. And I'm just going to take a little of that on my finger and just put it right where those two colors meet. It just kind of helps to transition them. And I will blend, so don't worry. And then I'm going to go back in with my... E25 I think it is and just blend this a little bit and even a little bit on my lid just to kind of blend those colors together. I'm going to take this Models Ink brush I think it is or Model Co. I don't remember. Oh yeah here it is. Models Own. It's a like a um, angled brush and I'm going to take Smog on my lower lash line Not too much. I don't want my lower lash line to be too dramatic. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to put that lash serum on. We'll do that after this. Because that needs time to dry before I go in and do my mascara. I'm going to go in with this Dior Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. This takes like 5 to 10 minutes to dry, so I like to put it on and give it ample time to dry or else your mascara goes on kind of weird if it's not dry. And this just has been helping my mascara to look so much better. It makes my lashes look longer and fuller. Yeah, I like this stuff. I'm going to take a tiny little pencil brush and I'm going to take Half Baked, that gold shade, and put this on the inner part of my lower lash line. Going in with my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner, I'm going to Tight Line, which I hate doing. It kills my eyes. My, sorry. I'm going to use my, you know what, I'll use this one. I'll use my, my Black Jane Eyeliner. This one's really good. I'm also going to take this Jane Eyeliner on the outer part of my lid and kind of smudge it out. You guys will see what I mean. I just take it on the very outer part and almost wing it a little bit, just a tiny bit. Like that. And then I take this model's own brush that I used. I try to get some of the shadow off, but then I like smudge this out a little bit. It's kind of like a little bit of a wing without being a wing. This is the way to do a wing and cheat. But it's not, I mean it's very subtle, but I like the way it looks. It adds a little something. I'm going to let this dry on my eyes before I go in with my mascara. I'm going to use my Benefit Highbrow and just highlight under my brows a little bit. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to start out with my NARS Laguna. I'm going to take this um, Real Techniques Contour Brush, and I'm just going to put a little of this as a contour. Just like that, just so there's like a little bit of a shadow there. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Blush Brush. Actually, I don't want to use Laguna for this. I'm going to use my... Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. Looks like that. And just kind of warm things up.
For blush, I'm going to use a little combination. I'm going to use Benefit Hervana first. And this is just a really pretty everyday pink. It's very subtle. So I like to go over it with something else just to give it a little shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. And then I'm going to go in with my Revlon Rose Glow that I talked about in my December favorites. It looks like this. And I concentrate by this bright pink strip right here. And you get a little of that shimmer that's around it. And it just gives you like a little bit of a sheen to your cheeks without being too much. I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. I also talked about this in my December favorites. This is in the shade Bare Light. I love this stuff, you guys. It kind of, can you see that? I just pop this in this area and then I take my, where are you, my e.l.f. stipple brush and I kind of blend it in a little bit and then I go back in with my finger and blend it in. And I'm going to grab just a clean, fluffy brush and just make sure that everything is blended together and not looking too cray-cray. Okay, I think we can go in now with mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and this is the first day that I'm using the Big Daddy. I've been using my little one, but it's getting really dried out, so gonna pull out Big Dad. Big Daddy-o. But that lash serum, it just makes your mascara go on so nicely. It's like you don't even have to work at it. I don't even need to wear false lashes because my lashes look so good when I use that Dior. And this mascara is absolutely amazeballs. Going to do my lower lashes. I'm going to use NARS Born This Way. I think this was limited edition, so I'm sorry, but this is the gloss that I've been obsessed with. And I don't even put lipstick on first because this just looks so good on its own. I don't like the applicator though. It's like a brush and it's weird. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to take my Cargo HD powder. I cannot get this mother open. Oh, I got it. Yay. And sorry, I'm going to take my stippling brush from Sephora. Just put a little of this under my eyes just to kind of set everything. I don't like to use a lot of powder, but this powder I actually really like. Okay, Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And that is my face, you guys. I still have to do something with this hair. I think I'm going to throw a headband in, but yeah, that is my face. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like these types of videos where I chit chat with you, let me know. Or if you would rather have me do a voiceover. I don't know what you guys prefer. I Either one's fine with me. So let me know. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, well your hair officially looks like a big turd stick. Turd on a stick. Yes, my hair looks like a turd on a stick. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it! Hey, Nicole, how about you put some earrings in, you dirty heifer? Okay, I think I will do that. I am going to wear these little babies. Don't ask why, because I feel like it. Sassafras. I am going to be changing my shirt into a shirt that matches these earrings, and I'm also going to do something with my mullet. I officially have a mullet. Don't ask why. I'm bringing the mullet back, okay? I think it'll go over well. I, I really do. What does that sound? I think there's like, there's a bird trying to get into my house, and it's not birdie. <laughs> Crazy.